Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I want to talk a little bit about GA and why I entered this trade when I did. Um, I'm looking at the weekly chart here. You know, these are the weekly candles. I watched this thing for a long time, a long time waiting on this thing to uh, go where I wanted it to go. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys my trend line here. I use the line chart drawing trend lines because it shows true, truly where the pair, where it's at. You don't get any more truer for trend lines than looking at the line chart here. I don't worry about wicks. Wicks don't matter to me on trend, trend lines. I focus on where the price opens and closes at. That is all that matters to me. When, when looking at trends. Now when I'm looking for reversals and things like that, obviously wicks play a big ass part in that. As you can see, there's a huge ass wick right here on the weekly chart. But um, let's take a look at the, the four hour. You know, it made a, um, a small head and shoulders pattern, I would, I guess, you know, something along the lines of that. But what I was really watching was these candles right here. These um, these wicks, small bodied, long wick candles here. And um, right here we got a long wick up. It came down and closed here. And so I said that on the next one that I was going to enter after seeing one, two, and then this, which is essentially just a railroad track. Because if you add these candles together, it opened here. And it closed here. And that's just another, you know, a doji. So I waited for this candle. I waited for the high. I really, you know, I tried to get above the body of the previous candle. Or below the body of the previous candle, depending on which way I'm going. And so I hopped in here. And I believe I did that on the 15-minute the chart. Yeah. So let me show you on the 15-minute chart. Bear with me guys, I'm using my phone, you know, I'm always on my phone. Okay, so, we got one new high here. I waited, it made this one, and it made this, this nice little wick right here. And then it came and it broke here. So, what did I do? I waited for the retest. I waited for it to come back up. You know, as you can see, my entry wasn't all that great on this trade. Um... But, you know, I caught it up here, saw this, I hopped in here kind of late. I would have tried to get in a little bit higher. Um, but, you know, I waited for that third, that second pass up right there. You know, this is the initial, the sec first, second, and then it's reversal time. It didn't, it didn't break. So that's why I entered this trade. Right here on the 15 minute chart. And just waited and waited and waited you know it took a little time as you can see it um it came down and most people would have closed out cashed in profits there right around here but I I waited to see what it was gonna do with it closing and reversing right here at the previous zone like it did I said alright we're looking at a head and shoulders here so I waited, and what did it do? Shoulder, head, shoulder. I didn't get a second entry here, but I gave everybody else a second entry call around here for all the people that were listening. And we've been just riding this thing down. Over a thousand pips profit already. Um, as you can see, I went five lots on it, so, you know, I made quite a bit of money on this trade here but um <clears throat> so let's look at that weekly again it's all about how you draw your trends how you look at these charts watch the bigger time frames you know they're going to be you know they're going to show you less false moves and things like that and then you know just make sure you're drawing your trend lines correctly and you should be fine this has been a great trade you know i'm expecting a lot more from it with the way it's looked so we'll see how it ends up going.